Hi there learners and welcome to today's video where we are going to be talking about how we can calculate the percentage increase or decrease. Okay, so now it's important to be able to compare quantities in terms of percentages. One of the methods to do so is to look at the percentage by which a value has either increased or decreased, right? And with this, there are a few, in fact, uh, three different methods that we can use to get our answer. So let's look at an example. An item that previously cost 1,250 Rand was sold for how much? It was sold for a thousand Rand. They want us to calculate the discount as a percentage, okay? As a percentage that was given. So with method number one, I'm just gonna put M1 as I usually do. <laughs> we are going to create an equation, right? So now we're going to say 1,250 and we're gonna multiply that by Y percentage. Why? Because we don't know, okay? We don't know what that percentage is. And that must equal 1,000 Rand. Now again, I'm gonna go back to the scenario, why is this? They told us that an item previously cost 1,250 Rand, but it was sold for 1,000 Rand. So it went down, okay? So we need to calculate that discount. So what are we gonna do now? We need to get this as Y equals, okay? So in order to do that, what are we gonna end up doing? We are going to divide this side by 1,250 and divide the other side by 1,250 because whatever we do to the one side has to be done to the other. So that cancels out and then we sit in with Y equals and then we've got 1,000 over 1,250, okay? Now our percentage is always expressed as being out of 100. So when we take our percentage away, over here, it will be Y over 100 um, equals 1000 over 1250. When we cross multiply, we're going to sit with 1250Y equals 100,000. Now, how did I get that? Because remember, when I had Y over 100 equals 1000 over 1250, what did I have to do? I cross multiplied 100 times 1000 gave me my 100,000. Y multiplied by 1250 gave me 1250 Y. Okay, so that's that's where we are now. And what we're going to do now is again, same story. We're going to divide by 1250 and divide by 1250. That cancels out. That gives me Y equals, and because I'm doing this, I do that process it and it should give me 80. Let's now look at method number two. So method number two is where I can use a formula. Remember now method number one, what did I do? I used or created an equation. So method number two, I'm using a formula. So what I'm going to do is, what do I need to do? I need to take the largest amount, 1250, subtract it from the amount it was sold for, and divided by the original amount, which is 1250. Whatever that answer is, I'm going to multiply that by 100%, and then that will equal 20%. Okay, that's going to be my answer. So my answer for this, 20%, which means the discount is 20%, okay? That's when we use our formula. Now let's look at method number three. So for method number three, we are going to use ratios, okay? So if I look at everything I have here at the moment, then I'm going to say 1250, which is what it was originally, uh, what did they tell us? It was um, using one, remember 1250 is what the item previously cost. So I'm saying 1250 to a ratio of 100% because that was the original um, cost. Then 
I'm going to go with a thousand. Remember how we do our ratios? And I've got my question mark because I don't know what that percentage is. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to take my thousand and I'm going to divide it by my 1250. And I'm then going to multiply that by 100. And what that is going to do, that's going to give me an answer of 80. Right? So that means now I'm going to take my 80%. Right? This does not mean my discount is 80%. There's no way that from 1250 to 1000 Rand my discount is 80%. But I'm going to subtract that from the original 100%. And that means I would get. I would be left with a 20% discount. Right, so let's look at another example and uh, let's use old John like we always do. Now, John's annual salary is, let's see, 103,200 and this was increased to 109,000. 392 so they want us now to calculate the percentage by which his annual salary increased okay so we know that that is going up so remember method one was an equation method two was a formula and method three was a ratio so let's look um, to see how we're going to get the answer using method number one So again, with method number one, I'm going to take my initial amount over here, which is 103, 200, and I'm going to multiply it by Y percentage. Why? Because I don't know what it is. And that is going to be equal to the increased amount, 109, 392. Okay, so what am I going to do first of all? I'm going to divide this by 103, 200. That will cancel out, and I'll sit with Y percentage equals 109392 over 103200. Remember why I'm doing this? Because if I divide by this on the one side, I've got to do it on the other side. Okay? Now, why as a percentage? Remember, it is, can be expressed like this. Sorry. Equals 109392 over 103. 200 and now I'm going to cross multiply and when I do that let's see what that result is going to be it's going to be 103 200 y equals 109 392 0 0 okay so let's just get rid of this and what are we now going to do we are going to divide this by 103 200 because we want to get rid of this and just sit with Y and then we're going to divide this by 103 200 and I'm going to get an answer of 1 106 okay now that 106 means the following it's a hundred percent plus six percent so the hundred percent represents the original amount in other words his original salary and the 6% represents the increase that he received. So we can then say that John received a 6% increase. Now let's look at method number two as we utilize a formula. So how do we do this? We are going to take the largest amount, which is our 109392. We are then going to subtract the original amount and we're going to divide it by the original amount, okay? So we have that, that is then going to, uh, we're going to take that and we're going to multiply that by 100. So whatever that answer is, we'll multiply that by 100 and that answer will be 6. That represents our 6% increase, okay? Guys, please re remember um, this amount here is what we call the lowest initial value this obviously is our highest value so when we do use 
uh, a, a formula we are taking the highest value highest value we are subtracting we are subtracting it from the lowest initial value and we are dividing it by the lowest initial value and that answer multiplying by 100 okay don't get confused with that hope that clears it up then the last one is to use a ratio so remember we are going to take our 103 200 to a ratio of 100 percent because that's the original uh, salary okay then our 109 392 well we don't know what that is going to be as a percentage yet so what do we now do we take our highest amount our 109 392 or the one we don't know we are then going to divide that by the one that we do have our 103 200 and we're going to multiply that by 100 that's going to give us an answer again of 106 okay 106 percent so it would seem wow why is it 106 percent no because remember your 100 percent relates to that original amount and the six percent is the increase so what is the answer this then becomes six percent and you can see together that gives you your 106 percent so john again through our ratios received a six percent increase